Here's a cleaned up audio clip from KAK's interview. I feel like I'm being harassed. Completely. Not at all. And I've gave up my DNA, a hair follicle test. I've... I've On an episode of this podcast, someone who knew this POI felt he sounded like the bridge guy. I'll have to disagree with him and I'll show you why. I feel like I'm being harassed. Completely. Not at all. And I gave up my DNA, a hair follicle test. I've... I've... KAK speaking voice sounds much higher than the Delphi murders suspect. I've included some spectrographs in this video to show that BG's voice is much deeper than KAK's. I realize people can alter their voice's pitch in different situations but BG's voice doesn't seem to match KAK's in the interview. BG's voice is raspy, like a smoker's. He also sounds older than KAK. People hear similarities between the two due to KAK's accent and the low quality audio from the prison phone interview. This causes people to think he sounds more like bridge guy than he actually does. If you look at the spectrographs you'll notice that BG's voice is much deeper than KAK's when he speaks. I've included additional charts that show that the low end of BG's voice is much louder than KAK's when he talks. I'm not sure how this app works but I gave it a shot. It determined that there's not a whole lot of similarity between BG and KAK's voices. It's fairly obvious when you see the app's spectrographs compared to each other. Notice the difference in the slope of the base of these two audio clips. The low end of BG's voice slopes gradually and is deeper, while KAK's voice starts sloping drastically below 40 Hz. Let's compare the two audio clips again. I feel like I'm being harassed. Completely. Not at all. And I gave up my DNA, a hair follicle test. I've... I've... Yeah, man.